Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and this is Game 2 between Scott playing Rug and Ryan playing Callblade. Scott led off with a Copper Line Gorge, and then Ryan laid down a Celestial Colonnade. Scott passed his next turn after laying down a Misty Rainforest, and then Ryan laid down a Plains and cast his Squadron Hawk, and then searched for one more. Scott laid down a Mountain, and then cracked his Misty Rainforest, going down to 19 and searched for an Island, and then he cast a Tumble Magnet. For Ryan's next turn, he played and cracked an Arid Mesa, going down to 19 and searched for a mountain. He then resolved a sortie of body and mind, and then attacked with his Squadron Hawk for one, taking Scott down to 18. Scott then used Nature's Claim to get rid of Ryan's sword of body and mind, and Ryan gained 4 life, going up to 23. Then Ryan played and cracked a Scalding Tarn, going down to 22 life, and searched for an island. He then attempted to resolve a Jace the Mind Sculpture, however Scott stopped it with a Mana Leak. Then Ryan attacked for another one with his Squadron Hawk before passing the turn, taking Scott down to 17. Then Scott laid down a Scalding Tarn and resolved a second Tumble Magnet. For Ryan's next turn, he started off by resolving an Emeria Angel. He then attacked with his Hawk again for one, taking Scott down to 16. Then on Scott's turn, he drew a Lightning Bolt off the top of his library and used it to get rid of Ryan's Emeria Angel. Ryan started off his next turn by casting a Preordain and decided to put both cards on the bottom and draw a new one. He then laid down a Celestial Colonnade and attacked with his Squadron Hawk for another one, taking Scott down to 15. Then he finished his turn by casting a second Squadron Hawk and searching for a third one. Scott then drew a Jace the Mind Sculpture off the top of his library and cast it, however he had to crack his Scalding Tarn going down to 14 and search for an island in order to do so. He then used Jace's Brainstorm ability and finished up his turn by laying down a Raging Ravine. Ryan sent both his Hawks at Jace this turn, taking it down to one loyalty. Then post combat, he resolved two more Squadron Hawks. For Scott's next turn, he started off by brainstorming again with Jace. He then laid down a Raging Ravine and resolved an Acidic Slime and used it to get rid of one of Ryan's Celestial Colonnades. During Ryan's next pre-combat, Scott used his two Tumble Magnets to tap down two of his Squadron Hawks. So he sent one Hawk at Jace to kill it and the other one at Scott, taking him down to 13 life. Then post-combat, he resolved another Emeria Angel. Scott then resolved an Inferno Titan and used it to get rid of Ryan's Emeria Angel. He then attacked with his Acidic Slime for two, taking Ryan down to 20 life. During Ryan's next combat, Scott used his Tumble Magnets to tap down two of his Hawks again. So Ryan attacked with the other two, taking Scott down to 11 life. Then post-combat, Ryan resolved the journey to nowhere and used it to get rid of Scott's Inferno Titan. However, Scott then resolved a second Inferno Titan and used it to get rid of three of Ryan's Squadron Hawks this time. Ryan then attacked for one again with his Hawk, taking Scott down to 10 life. Then post-combat, he wiped the board with a Day of Judgment. For Scott's next turn, he started off by casting an Explore. He then resolved to Jace the Mind Sculptor and used it to look at the top card of Ryan's library, which he decided to put on the bottom. He then laid down a Misty Rainforest and cracked it to cast Preordain and search for an island. This took him down to 9 life and then he left both cards on the top from the Preordain. At the end of Scott's turn, Ryan used a Lightning Bolt on him to take him down to 6 life. Then on his turn, he cast a Stoneforge Mystic, however he didn't have any other equipment to search for. Scott started off his next turn by using Jace to look at the top card of Ron's library again, which he kept on top this time. He then resolved an Avenger of Zendikar to make seven creatures and then laid down a Copper Line Gorge to pump them. Ryan laid down a Glacial Fortress, then tried to stay alive by laying down a Frost Titan and tapping Scott's Avenger of Zendikar. However, Scott drew a force off the top of his library, but before playing it, he uses Jace one more time to look at the top card of Ryan's library, which he kept there. He then laid down the forest to pump his guys again and swung for lethal, giving him the game.